We're not just the worst city, it's just the worst thing because it hurts so many people. Sorry seems to be the hardest word. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 memorable celebrity apologies. Actually, someone's uh, emotions, right. you know, that I stepped on, and it was very, it was just, it was rude, period. And for this list, we're focusing on the most unforgettable and outlandish of public celebrity apologies. I love an apologies to everybody. Number 10, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Australia is a wonderful island with a treasure trove of unique plants, animals, and Australia is a wonderful island. Well, of course it is. Everybody knows that. But in 2016, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard found themselves legally responsible to remind the world of this fact. Australians are just as unique, both warm and direct. When you disrespect Australian law, they will tell you from. After a brazen attempt to bring their Yorkshire Terriers into the country, the couple felt the wrath of the country's agriculture minister, who threatened to put down the innocent pups, Pistol and Boo. This is no laughing matter on paper, of course, but as far as the bizarre video apology, well, you can almost see Johnny and Amber ready to burst out laughing. Well, let's run the rest of it through a Snapchat filter and see if it's better that way. When you disrespect this Jerry Mar, I'm really sorry that this one's really hard to Protecting Australia is important. Number nine, Hugh Grant. Let me start with question number one. <laughs> What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> when a man cheats on his partner, just laughing it off as a bad thing is not gonna work. But if you're a young British actor known for your charming ways and comedic banter, well, that's another story. In 1995, while dating the equally beautiful and charming Elizabeth Hurley, Hugh Grant dropped 60 bucks on a Sunset Strip hooker in his car. Well, after he didn't drove around me for like two miles. Right. He, oh, so he kept circling. He kept circling? Did you think that was funny? You knew he was looking you over, right? Thought he was a cop. What's important, however, is his appearance on The Tonight Show, where the actor owned up to his transgression with his typical brand of awkward charm. And just like that, he was forgiven through the power of cheeky charm. I think you know in life uh, pretty much what's a good thing to do and what's a, b a bad thing. And um, I did a bad thing, and there you have it. Number eight, Chris Brown. What I did was inexcusable. I am very sad and very ashamed of what I've done. Today, it's all about personal branding for celebrities. And in February of 2009, Chris Brown's image spiraled out of control after a physical assault on his girlfriend, Rihanna. There are a lot of women who've experienced what I did, but not in the public. So it made it really difficult. As for the specifics, well, it was ugly. And almost five months after the incident, Chris released a two-minute clip in which he wisely accepted responsibility, apologized, and even expressed a desire to be a role model. I intend to live my life so that I'm truly worthy of the term role model. Say what you will about Chris Brown, but in this case, he seemed to mean it. Only time will tell if he's truly changed his ways. As I sit here today, I can tell you that I will do everything in my power to make sure that it never happens again, and I promise that. Number seven, Jonah Hill. Smokes a crack with me, bro. Smokes a crack with me, bro. Shortly after appearing in Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street, this comic actor turned Oscar nominated performer found himself in the crosshairs of public opinion. I personally vow to never, ever use that word ever again, and I urge everyone to do the same. While out and about in LA, Jonah Hill didn't find the humor in a paparazzo's views on his style. And like a grade school bully, the actor fired back with grade school insults loaded with homophobic overtones. Suck my dick. Oh, a real bully. Shortly thereafter, Hill offered up an emotional apology on The Tonight Show. And though it was a powerful moment, not all fans were ready to accept his plea for forgiveness. I know I'm usually funny and stuff, but this wasn't funny, it was stupid, and yeah, they, I, I deserve they, the shit I'm gonna get for it, you know? Number six, Mel Gibson. You're any longer out on that road and I'm one of them, you know? A terminal crazy. If we know one thing about Mel Gibson, aside from the fact that he's a gifted director and charismatic actor, it's that, in the past, he liked to drink every once in a while. When they were making Braveheart, everyone said, oh, it's ridiculous, Mel Gibson playing a Scottish guy. That's not going to be very convincing. And look at him now, an alcoholic racist. But when you drink heavily and choose to drive a motorized vehicle, things happen. Were you drinking from the open bottle of tequila in the car? Uh, yeah. I had a couple of slugs. 
Back in 2006, the Malibu 5 caught up with Mad Max, and unfortunately, the celebrity had a few things to get off his chest. Expletive Jews. And to Officer Me, are you a Jew? And the Jews are responsible for all the wars in the world. Naturally, a public apology was in order. And considering the rise of social media, he needed to go the extra mile. I've apologized more than anyone I know, so it's getting old. Mel covered a lot of ground in his apology, but the most important topic wasn't the drinking itself, but the words that emerged through a major tequila binge. In forgiving my friend his trespasses, offering him the same clean slate you have me, and allowing him to continue his great and ongoing contribution to our collective art without shame. He's hugged the cactus long enough. Number five, Paula Dean. Come out here, Molly. We can't see you standing against that dark boulder. In a 2013 lawsuit, this Southern-born chef was accused of being a racist. And when she lost several promotional deals, Paula Dean gave the most logical response she could muster. I am not a racist. Inappropriate, hurtful language is totally totally unacceptable. In her first apology video, Dean's colorful appearance distracted from the message, and she later went on further in her public statement, even noting that she wouldn't actually fire herself for such behavior. Would I have fired me? Knowing me? No. She admitted to using the N-word on occasion, but for some reason couldn't see how this qualified as racism, despite its obvious racially charged weight and ugliness. If there's anyone out there that has never said something that they wish they could take back. If you're out there, please pick up that stone and throw it so hard in my head that it kills me. Number four, Kobe Bryant. On the move, with the jumper. He oh, my! 58 points! Love him or hate him, Kobe Bryant understands the importance of modern media. The NBA superstar attacked her from behind, grabbed her by the neck, and forced himself on her despite her repeated protests. And after the infamous sexual assault case in 2003, he seemed more willing to play the villain than ever before, especially after coming clean to the world and his wife on national TV. It's an awkward apology for sure, yet Kobe doesn't smile his way through and try to glide around the main issue. However, Bryant later had to apologize publicly again, this time for using slurs in the heat of battle. And while the cameras were on. You clearly see him drop double F-bombs. Uh, Gay slur and the F-word. Number three, Michael Richards. Hey, hey, I gotta feed the birds. So? You got any of those uh, mini Ritzes? By 2006, Michael Richards may not have been as relevant as he once was, but did he not understand the concept of YouTube? You're just not funny! That's why you read that! Never had no show, never had no movie! Right. Oh, I'm trying to feel that's it! Oh, I guess you got me there. You're absolutely right. After being heckled during a stand-up routine, Richards attempted to out-heckle the hecklers, drifting in an unscripted racial tirade against the black audience members. Oh, Oh my God. Soon after, Jerry Seinfeld invited Richards to appear on The Late Show with David Letterman, but the studio audience didn't seem up to speed on the situation and laughed awkwardly throughout his satellite apology. And did you... I know, I mean, Harry, in your audience, laugh, you know, and it's, it's, uh, I'm not even sure that this is, uh, where I should be, uh... Richards has attempted to make light of the incident in later years at his own expense, but his career has never quite rebounded from it. I'm not a racist. That's what's so insane about this. I don't... Uh, and yet, it's said. It comes through. It fires out of me. Number two, Janet Jackson. CBS, the NFL, had no knowledge of this whatsoever, and unfortunately, the whole thing went wrong in the end. Nipple clamp or no nipple clamp? It's not a daily concern for most, but in 2004, Janet Jackson had choices to make. By the end of her Super Bowl appearance, we all know what option she went with, when the wardrobe malfunction of all wardrobe malfunctions was broadcast around the world. In her apology, Janet said all the right things. I am really sorry. If I offended anyone, that was truly not my intention. But given the theatrics of the entire performance and the addition of Justin Timberlake, the nipple reveal seemed to be the orchestrated conclusion of the international event. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Not what I want to do. I want to be 
a positive influence. So I feel like I let y'all down, which sucks. I am so sorry. I was so disrespectful to him. And I have police officers in my family. I work with police officers every day. I know better. The person I love and respect the most, Rob. I love him. I love him. I'm so sorry. I was out of order beyond belief. I was way out of order. I acted like a punk. I regret that. And there is nobody that has heard that tape that is hit harder by it than me. I, but I'm truly sorry, you know, really. I, 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 wish I, I wish we all could have gotten it right that night. I want you to know that, you know. Thank you. Number one, Tiger Woods. Oh yeah, look at this, Peter. Look at this shot. Look at this, might go in, might go in, might go in. It is in. <laughs> in his prime, this PGA golfer was perhaps the most dominant athlete in sports. He didn't just golf, he destroyed the competition while captivating fans on a global level. But in late 2009, everything changed for Tiger Woods. A car accident, mistresses, and an image destroyed. So when he delivered the inevitable public apology, it carried the tone of a sermon, authentic but obviously scripted. I am deeply sorry for my irresponsible and selfish behavior I engaged in. However, by the end of what has to be one of the most unforgettable moments in sports history, Tiger's acknowledgement managed to convey genuine regret. I ask you to find room in your heart to one day believe in me again. Do you agree with our list? I'd have to get loaded again and tell you. What's your favorite celebrity apology? He said that if I hugged the cactus long enough, I'd become a man of some humility and that my life would take on a new meaning. For more emotional top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. I was fortunate enough to meet your mom and talk with your mom a number of years ago. Uh, what do you think she would have said about this? Um, 